Okay, so I finally figured out how to export a blend file with multiple animations in it. So let's go ahead and start by just having some example animations. I'm just going to key the rotation, and let's just have this go left. Okay, like so. And now you can see that we have a new action here just called armature action. I'm just going to rename this to left to keep it simple. Um, we also want an action for going the other way too, so I'm just going to press this button to create a new action. It's just a clone, and then with this clone, I'm going to call it right, and I'm going to select this, and then just invert it. So it goes right. So right goes right, and left goes left. Now, in order for these both to be recognized by Unreal uh, through like the Blend File Importer, what you're going to need to do is flag these as assets. So if we go to, whoops, where is it? Okay, mark as asset for left, mark as asset for right. There you go, left and right. Now you'll notice that we also have a ring two action. I think this is a holdover. This is the actual animation I'm gonna use for later. Um, but for this case, we don't want it. This is pretty common to end up with a action that you don't need. So you're gonna wanna go to the outliner and let's switch to, I think it's blender file. Right click and ring two is what we don't want to press, uh, what we don't want, and we're going to delete that. So now we have left that goes left, and then we have right that goes right. Perfect. So now I'm going to save, go back to Unreal. I'm going to import, select our file. Okay, and the default settings are fine. All right, so I'm going to sync in our skeleton. I'm going to adjust the scale. It does need to be 300 in this instance. Import all. And just like that, you can see that the names we chose for the actions show up. So if I go to right, you can see it goes right. And then if we go left, you can see it goes left. And that's it. Uh, it's just a couple presses. It's pretty straightforward, but um, not super intuitive if you don't know what buttons to press. So hope that helps.